Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first one is from I Abstain From Society. I was wondering if you would work something out for the loud top. My little girl is autistic and needs just a chill at home computer for her Z exercises, but we can't afford one till our stimulus comes. But we need Symthung the day after Tonero. If you'd hello us, I would give you 200 for your trouble when Stimucus comes. This is a collector's computer, not suitable for any modern tasks and only used for vintage games. I have a Dell laptop up for $70. That would work. Okay, that would be great. Isn't there any way you would work with me and my family? Till the check comes, it's just been rough, and I've lost a cot of work with Corona, and with a child with autism, it's expensive. $70 is dirt cheap for a computer. I don't do loans. But there is no working computer for less than that. Let me know when you have the money, if you are still interested. Yeah, 70 is dirt cheap to sign people, you arrogant fucking prick. Let's hope I never see you in a dark alley. I think I'm more concerned at the fact that most tech nowadays has a built-in spell check. They didn't even make an effort to present themselves as somebody that should be presentable. But then again, they are a choosing beggar. This next one is by Routine25540. Hi, is the MacBook Bro still available, please? Thanks. Yes, still available. Gray, is there any chance you could accept 60 pounds? I'm battling with several mental health disabilities and can barely leave my bed, let alone work. I only have my phone, but I need a computer to get some work and support applications done. Ah uh, yes, leave it to the beggar to think that if they have a mental health disability, they can get a MacBook Pro for 60 pounds. <laughs> Amazing logic this one has. This next one is from Cytocum. Super Chewer Dog Toy, use code RING. Should be able to use this and 25% off first box. Annoying! No Karen, what's annoying is you're complaining and most likely this isn't the first time you've done it. This next one is by XD Moonlight. Please, can someone help me make a profile picture if you're good at graphic design or something? I don't know. I'll shout you out. Of course. Shoutouts are the way to pay. Exposure bucks. They pay all the bills and then some. <laughs> Not. This next one is from PuzzleHeadedWay935. Yo, anyone want to make a deal for COD points? If you can buy me $25 in COD points, I'll shout you out on anything. You want Insta, Snap, YouTube, anything. I have over 10k, and Sec account has 8k followers on TikTok. Look me up, beggar. No, nobody's gonna buy you $25 in COD points for a shout out because quite frankly, shout outs are way overrated. If you want those COD points, buy them yourself. This next one is by Bouncing Bobby Hill. Hey everyone, I really need new size large RXL pink clothes so bad. And I mean the color pink because I just have a little bit of clothes. And if you are all wondering why I am asking for only pink clothes, it's because it's my favorite color and it's so beautiful on me. So if you have any pink clothes, just PM me and I will love to have them. And if you do give me any pink clothes, I'm just letting you know that me and my family won't be able to pick up because we don't have a car at all. So I was just wondering if you will be so nice and drop it off to me. I will appreciate it very much. And whoever helps me with that, God bless you. Just let me know as soon as possible if you do have any pink clothes and if you do PM me. <laughs> Thank you. I hope that you all have a good day today. <laughs> I don't have pink clothing, but I have some nice clothing you can add to your wardrobe. Let me know. 
My guess is they probably didn't let this person know because it was pink clothes only, and then on top of it, I'm sure that person that was generous to offer the non-pink clothes wouldn't deliver, so it's a definite no from the beggar. This next one is by J90W. Hi beggar, thanks for your business. I'm ready to ship the following item here. Unfortunately, I can't ship the above item until I've received a payment. Can you please let me know when I can expect a payment? Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. I already sent you a message that I'm willing to pay the price and the shipping, but not the taxes that you included because I'm not buying from any store I believe, so when you take off the taxes, I will immediately pay for the item. Thank you. Hey there, sorry, I must not have received the original message. In regards to sales tax, I do not have the ability to remove it. eBay adds internet sales tax on applicable items depending on where it is being shipped to or shipped from. More details can be found here. I also tried to look into removing it, but it's not an option on my end, the seller's end. I cannot even see how much the sales tax is listed. Best regards. Please take the $19.40 out of the bill for me to make the purchase. Thank you. Unfortunately, I cannot do that as the $183 was the sales price, which you agreed to eBay's terms and fees when placing that bid. There was another bid at $180.50 before your winning bid, so by offering a discount to you, I would be losing out. I do not control the taxes. That is controlled by eBay. If you would like to put in a complaint through eBay regarding the taxes, you can do that. Best regards. Leave it to a choosing beggar to weasel their way into a bid with no intentions of paying the final price. <laughs> Trying to get the tax taken off, what a joke. This next one is by the Farting King 56 Please give me Alien Aurora PC. It not too much. Please, I have birthday. I just got cancer too. I need to fight it. Doctor said I might not live. Please, it'll make my day. Please let me speak to your parents. My daughter loves video games and she's giving away a PC that she had just replaced for Christmas. She would absolutely and happily give it to someone in need. Thank you. Here's my parents number. Text this. Good person, don't listen to the sickening evil lies. This person, this kid's profile is very new and it says that the number they connected is the same as their parents and their birthday actually occurs in three and a half months. Get this, upon looking at Facebook friends, I found his mother, who has clarified that blank is not sick. I think I'm more surprised that somebody reached out willing to actually donate the PC to this beggar. I'm glad this other person stepped in and let that person know that the beggar was full of it. And our final one is from Captain Emmy. Sometime last year, I joined a local needs group on Facebook. I originally joined it with the best of intentions, but lately it's become a bit of a dumpster fire, which part of me enjoys watching. I'd say 95% of the action is in a metropolitan area a bit too far from me, which means I rarely offer anything as it seems no one is, for whatever reason, able to drive. A frequent desperate requester of assistance lives about half an hour from me. It's not a bad drive, but schedules and kids and stuff prevent me from being able to just zip over. Last week, Debbie mentions that her husband has no pants, as in real adult pants and has somehow been living in pajama pants. His pants size? She has no idea. Now, the universe recently had dumped about half a dozen of men's pants on me that don't fit my husband. I gave the appropriate pant size and asked if she had a measuring tape. She did and said the pants would work. At this time, I'm a bit doubtful, wondering if she was just desperate for anything. But hey, they could give them a shot and maybe pass them on to someone else if they didn't work. They were good quality pants, in good condition. She also couldn't pick up, because they don't own cars. Well, life actually gave me an hour that week to be a good person. I drove out to the given address, noted it had three cars, and dropped a stack of pants on the doorstep after discovering no one was home. I shot Debbie a message, and she soon thanked me. 
later that day, she sends me another message. The pants don't fit her husband. Oh, darn, I reply. Well, see if someone near you needs them. No, she asked me to drive back down and take them back off her hands. It's funny how beggars don't even do the simplest of work. In this case, she should have measured her husband to see if the pants indeed would have worked instead of just saying yes so she could get free things. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.